Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Michelle McDaniel. I'm a personal trainer. A proud mother of a pug. And a chihuahua. A past theater nerd on a grown-up cosplayer, and this is my channel. My thoughts will probably offend you because whenever you share your thoughts online, someone's gonna tell you that they're offended by your own personal opinion. And they will demand that you change it to their opinion so that they feel better about themselves. So subscribe for the opinions, um, because I said so, for the pug. I don't know, just do it because it's really fun here. And little announcement, FYI, I just had surgery. I have something called endometriosis. A lot of you that are reoccurring people that watch my content know about it. But I was getting comments on my Instagram that I'm speaking differently than in my normal videos. Um, well, I had a tube down my throat, so I'm so sorry if I'm not screaming on the top of my lungs. And I just had surgery as well. They cut into me. So I'm not gonna be as um, animated as you want me to. So sorry that I have upset you, but you'll get over it. So I am making a full video about, you know, just a full deep video about endometriosis, PCOS, losing weight, gaining weight, hormones, birth control, doctors that literally will tell you, uh -huh, no surgery, even though you're in immense amount of pain, you should have a child first. All leading up to the surgeon that actually talked to me because guys, I'm feeling way better than I did and I'm in recovery right now than I did before my surgery. So I'm making a very detailed video on that. So hit the subscribe button if you are interested. And you should be because women's health is very important. Okay, on to today's topic, Big Ed. We made love. I think she enjoyed it. Poquito. <laughs> One of the little munchkins from The Wizard of Oz, Little Legs traveled into our universe and was able to snag a spot on the very popular overplayed show, 90 Day Fiance, and expected everyone to love him. But in reality, we didn't because he exposed himself. 98% of the people do not like him because he's a sex traveler that travels to different countries, promises the United States to young poor women who are trying to get out of poverty, then he mocks their living situation. Where are the windows? Big B windows. That's not a window. Because he's a big, small American man that doesn't understand that other people don't live exactly like him in Southern California. And then he tells these women that they should shave their legs because every woman from his home country, San Diego, shaves their leg. Um, don't be mad at me, but um, last night when I noticed that your legs were Kind of like mine, <laughs> they were hairy. Every single one. Tell that to the woman in Walmart. Pretty much tries to morph these women that don't have much money into his ideal woman because they don't have very much control in the situation because they don't have a lot of money, which is why Big Ed, even though he looks like a human thumb, targets these type of women because any woman that was financially stable, mentally stable, confident, and didn't need him would tell him that he looks like a human thumb. Please go shove your thumb face up your ass. Ugly. Thank you. But he doesn't want to deal with that, so that's why he targets women that don't have very much money and probably a very low self-confidence. Ed, get in front of me. Target someone like me. I will gladly tell you my thoughts. Respectfully. Not really. I'm gonna mean it in the actual most hurtful way possible. It'll actually bring me a lot of joy. What can I say? I'm problematic. He's also a mama's boy. Hey mom, can you do my hair? Of course. How would you like me styled? <laughs> like the braid? He always says what he really means and then follows it up with a just kidding. Hey, uh, wanna have sex? Oh, just kidding. Do ya? That kind of guy. Emotionally abusive, gross feet. He has a tattoo of himself. He's just the whole package of what a piece of shit is made of. Congrats. Anyway, so we covered him dating Liz, a 29 year old server slash manager at a local San Diego eatery who claims she doesn't care about looks and completely loves Ed. Well, they broke up and audio was leaked of him being mentally abusive. It was a stupid decision on your part. It was a stupid question. You fucking should have never asked me that. It was disrespectful to your boyfriend. I'm sorry. And it, the fact that you don't see that makes you look stupid. <laughs> you don't even let me talk. You just told me to talk and you just took it over again and called me stupid again. Because you're making stupid mistakes and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of your dumb fucking mistakes. Liz even shared the petition about how Ed was sexually abusing a woman on TikTok. She shared it. 
She basically called him a monster, an abuser, someone that shouldn't be around women. Okay? Keep that one in your head, children. And now, drum roll, please, Yoshi. <laughs> They're engaged. Uh, no one's clapping. Maybe I should start it? No. No one. No one's clapping. So I have not changed my mind from my last videos about this. At this point, she played all of you and she's completely in it for the money, like I said in the beginning. Or two, she's a flat out idiot. Oh yes, I'm that friend that if you are dating a full on disgusting, ugly, clump nugget of an egotistical man, that is mentally abusive and you're crying all the time, I am that friend that will call you an idiot after you go back with it. Because sometimes friends need a little tough love. Also, he photoshops himself as Fabio, so ew. It's a little outdated, Ed. You know, like men who have to manipulate women to sleep with them. Outdated. God, he's such a dad on the internet and not the, oh, look, Tiffany's dad's on the internet and he's like doing TikTok and just being goofy. No, he's the, oh God, Tiffany's dad is on the internet and holy shit, he's in my inbox talking to himself and I'm 13, that dad. Anyway, so they're supposedly engaged. I did notice that good old innocent Liz is very silent on her Instagram at the time that I'm filming this video at least, but the people have spoken. Girl, please tell me that the rumor isn't true that you and Ed are engaged. Say it isn't so. Please. So a leaked phone calls about Ed, what was it for? She leaked the audio message of him being verbally abusive. Didn't you do an interview with John Walters about how Ed treated you bad? Why the fuck would you get back together with him if he treated you so bad? What do you even see in him? Shake my head, face palm. Hashtag unfollow. But I ain't unfollowing. I wanna watch this crash and burn so that I can prove to y'all that I am right. I'm always right. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm that petty. To prove to the minimal amount of people that said, no, Liz is just so sweet. She doesn't care about looks. She loves it. Uh, no. I stand by what I said, that she is someone that is a single mom in San Diego, one of the most expensive cities in the US, where a two bedroom house is now over a million dollars, and she sees an opportunity where she can get money, and will deal with him being a little munchkin creepy man, if that means that she can get money. How are you guys not seeing this? I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm just saying that's what it is. And I don't appreciate being lied to and trying to be manipulated like Ed manipulates people by a woman who's acting like she is holier than thou because she's giving the short little munchkin man a chance when she knows damn well she thinks he's repulsive. Don't lie to me, girl. So I'm right, you're wrong, I'm big, you're li- I'm 5'2". That was from Matilda. I hope you knew that. Listen, you little wiseacre. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong and there's nothing you can do about it. Anyway, I went to Ed's profile because he's an egotistical idiot and I wanted to make fun of him some more while I lay in bed and recover from my surgery and do nothing. And boy, going to his profile proved me right once again. He is an idiot. I love being right because he is promoting our uh, scam, our favorite scam of a supplement, Boombod. Try this stuff, it's called Boombod. Don't you guys love it? when I'm right, because I know I do. I wonder if Liz will start promoting Boombot because then it just proves that she's all about the money, but I don't think she will. She's being very careful because she kind of went into the whole body positive thing, so. But if she does, I'll be right there making videos, girl. I got you. You'll get your own special segment of Michelle right again. Let's look at his Boombot promotion. Hey, you guys, check this out. When I'm not doing cameos, when I need energy, to do my cameos. So you don't have energy to sit there and talk to a camera, Ed? You probably need more help than a colored drink that'll make you poop. Just saying. And um, I wanna lose weight. I wanna lose inches off my waist. Try this stuff, it's called Boom Bod. No. Try this stuff. No. It's called Boom Bod. No. Don't tell me what to do. I'm about three and a half days through this program. You guys, it's so easy. You make these drinks throughout the day. You make one in the morning. This is your morning energizer. There is your afternoon motivator, which is really cool. And then at night, especially if you're going out on a lot of dates. So not you, 
You don't need this. Just throw the whole kit away, little munchkin man. Wait, I have something else that I wanted to say to that clip. Roll it again. And then at night, especially if you're going out on a lot of dates. With women less than half your age who don't have money so that you can act like you're rich, but in reality you offer a stripper $20 so that your thumb of a face can go down on her. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to get out. <laughs> Tragic. Gross. Ew. It's the night rejuvenator. You guys, try it. No. Boombot, it works. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work at all. I'm telling you, man, I'm ready to go find a girlfriend. That little smirk at the end. Well, you guys, it ends up he did it. He finished the very long seven day challenge that every 90 day fiance counterpart decides to do for some reason. Is Boombot owned by someone from TLC? Because that's what I'm starting to think. Almost every single contestant has promoted Boombot. There's a conspiracy behind it. I know it, someone find out. Research team, make it happen. They're gonna do it. They're very good at their job. Anyway, he got through it. Hey everybody, what's going on? Well, your face is really close to the camera, so yeah, there's that. That's what's going on. Listen, good news. My um, Boombot is all done, okay? I finished my Boombot and I've lost about um, two and a half inches off my waist. Liar. And I'm down about 20, um, about 23 and a half pounds. After a week? Hold up. Okay, seven day achiever. So you lost 23 pounds from your seven day little boom bod cleanse challenge. Also, these videos were posted right after each other. Who wants to bet that he filmed both of them the same day? Probably didn't even drink it, cleaned everything out for the second video and then held off for the second video for, for about seven days because that's how long you're supposed to wait and then posted the video. Everyone thinks that? I have a smart crowd. I'm so proud of you guys. Smart. Wow. Yeah, well, he doesn't think he has a smart crowd. He thinks that his audience are idiots and you should be very offended. It's an insult. You should feel insulted. Pounds. I gained a couple pounds back because I've been lifting a lot of weights. <laughs> Wait, Michelle, don't laugh. Very hard to laugh right now. I can feel that area where they cut into me. Um, let's just say that he did lose 23 pounds from the Boombod seven day activator. He's literally giving all the credit to Boombod, mentioned nothing about calorie deficit. We've literally proven in the past that Boombod is nothing special. It does not target fat. It does not increase your metabolism. It does nothing except give you a little caffeine and some colorful fruity drinks. Uh, it especially does not just target the waist. Nothing does that except for liposuction, which is a lot more expensive than Boombot. In fact, it sounds like it's just a waste of money. You can probably drink water and get better results and save $159. Wow, it's very expensive to poop these days. Anyway, he's giving all the credit to Boombot and then saying, oh, I gained a little bit of weight because I'm lifting weight. So he's pretty much saying that uh, within those seven days, he gained a little weight as in muscle mass, put on muscle mass within seven days. Let me rephrase that. He put on muscle mass, a couple pounds of muscle mass on his tiny troll hairy body. Pounds. I gained a couple pounds back because I've been lifting a lot of weight. In seven days. I had to rephrase that so that everybody understood. <laughs> I'm just so happy because he's constantly proving me right. And I love that part. He really is an idiot. And, but I just want to tell you guys, this Boombod stuff, it's the best thing since um, sliced bread, which you're not supposed to have, okay? Go try it, it's amazing. Take care, and I'll see you soon. You actually won't though. I'll avoid you in real life, you look like you smell bad. But anyway, are you ready to see the big reveal? The new body of Big Ed. The 23 pounds lost and two to three inches of waist Gone. That Ed got in seven days from the magical weight loss system called Boombot. Hey everybody, what's going on? Listen, good news. My um, Boombot is all done. <laughs> Don't laugh. Go try it, it's amazing. We're not gonna laugh. Boombot, it works. I'm telling you, man. Splitting my seams are not worth it. 
It's not worth it. I'm ready to go find a girlfriend. Or is it? No, it's not. I literally lost a shirt and some sunglasses. What did Boombod do? Just make you grow hair on your gut? Maybe take your own advice. Shave it. <laughs> they were hairy. Ah, uh, these... These D-list celebrities got some balls. He literally posted this like, look at me, mom. I can take my shirt off by myself. Ed, come here. Get, get, over, get your short ass over here. Taking off your shirt without your mother is no longer an accomplishment when you're a 50 something year old man. Get new goals. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh look, you made it to the end of the video. I didn't know if you guys wanted to see like the bandages, like the little, um, things that they, that they, the, the, the stabs on my stomach. I'll show you really quick, but make sure to subscribe. It's my little gift to you for staying for the whole video. It's not that bad. So I'll show you guys again in the main video. And I'm still a little bloated, but nothing like before. So I have, ooh. So they put one, they have like an incision near my belly button. One right here, one right here. And then I have one like a little bit lower, but I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube, so I won't show you. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye. I'm ready to go find a girlfriend. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums.